Hi, good evening to you. Welcome to News West 9 at 10. I'm Tatum Gwynn. Serious question. Have you seen the price of gas these days? You know, we're hovering around $3. It's a big difference from this time a year ago when we were paying a little under $2 for a gallon of gas. You could view the hike as a sign that our economy is moving again. That is good, though there are reports that President Biden and his administration is urging OPEC to boost oil output to help bring down the price of gas. Experts here say um, that, that might not be the right solution. Jonathan, what'd they tell you? Well, Tatum, definitely hurting at the pump these days, but the Biden administration is asking OPEC to produce more crude oil to try and lower those gas prices and help with the ongoing global recovery. Tommy Taylor with Faskin Oil and Ranch wonders why he didn't seek out more production here in the United States. Why not produce more oil here at home? Something Tommy Taylor is wondering after President Biden went to OPEC for more production. That he would look at OPEC you know, to, to do something for the United States. Um, uh, he, should, he should be asking the Permian to produce more oil and, and, and start releasing federal permits so that we could produce more oil because it's there and we have companies willing to drill and produce it right now. Taylor says there is no reason to rely on other countries for oil production. And it's always better to have our own production instead of relying on uh, other countries like Russia and Saudi and, you know, Iraq and, and these countries that, that don't care for us. They don't like us. And with gas prices as high as they are, Taylor says that more drilling is the way to get it down. And let the free market, you know, dictate. If the price of gasoline is too high, and we drill more, it'll go down. If we drill too much, we'll quit drilling, and it'll go back up. It's, it's cyclical. That, that's how the business works. Taylor blaming the Biden administration for the high prices in the first place. When you look back at what he did at the beginning of his presidency, you know, putting a moratorium on these drilling permits on day one and canceling the Keystone Pipeline that would would impacted Canada, our, our uh, trade partner, it, it just doesn't make sense. And so, you know, to some degree, he's caused this, the high gasoline prices. From the only person disappointed in the president's decision to go to OPEC for more oil production, some of our U.S. representatives from Texas are also upset. But Tatum, I'll go ahead and let you tell everyone what they had to say. Yeah, Jonathan, thanks. Those politicians definitely haven't been at a loss of words regarding the president approaching OPEC over oil production. Let's go ahead and take a look. Representative August Fluger is blasting the president. Oh, it looks like we may not have that there. August Fluger blasting the president for sending those oil jobs to Russia. Representative Dan Crenshaw also not mincing words. He says... Not just stupid, but un-American. Oh, hey, there it is. Let's see, you see uh, Dan Crenshaw here. He says, again, I'm going to repeat myself, not just stupid, it's un-American. And then the governor himself. He says, keep that work here helps us keep, stay independent from foreign sources.